But first, we've all been there. It's late at night, you're hungry, and you fancy a snack. Time to raid the fridge. But have you ever stopped to consider how this amazing invention works? To build these handy cabinets that we take for granted, you need steel. It's used to make most fridge exteriors, which are fabricated at a factory like this one. A 160-ton press stamps the individual parts out of a steel roll. The process has 36 different steps and is watched by a vigilant quality control manager. A fridge is a necessity in modern life. It's estimated that in Britain there are over 40 million fridges keeping our food and drinks chilled inside, but how do they give them that smooth finish on the outside? Opposite forces attract, so in the painting process the metallic parts are negatively charged while the paint sprayer is positively charged. This makes the paint stick in a smooth layer. A fridge is made up of two key sections. We've seen the outer shell pressed and painted. This raw plastic material will be used to build the interior. Powerful ovens heat the plastic to 220 degrees Celsius. In this soft molten form, it's rolled out into wide sheets. This roll of plastic is then cut to size using a razor blade and carried on to the next stage of production, where it will be shaped. Over two and a half million refrigerators are thrown away in the UK every year, which has created something of a fridge mountain. To combat this, modern legislation requires that fridges must be made more environmentally friendly than they were in the past. The plastic sheets are loaded into a vacuum forming machine. Here they're blown up, the template is pushed inside and the air is sucked out. The plastic clings to the mold which forms a perfect new fridge interior. Water cooling hardens the plastic into its new shape and it's ready to go. The interior will be fitted into the steel cabinet exterior and the space in between filled with an insulating hydrocarbon foam. But before that's done, the two finished pieces have to be put together. The outer steel shell provides the structure. The inner plastic linings are fitted inside and they include an all-important hole for the insulation injection. The cavity between the two parts can now be filled with the insulation. Each unit is loaded into the machine and held firmly in place. Here they are attached to a nozzle which injects the liquefied insulation into the spaces between the steel and plastic. The foam expands and hardens, which both seals the unit together and helps insulate the fridge as a whole. The foam can be seen expanding when we view the process in real time. This expanding type insulation used to be made with ozone depleting CFCs or chlorofluorocarbons. Manufacturers switched to hydrocarbon compounds in the mid 1990s and have used them instead ever since. With the structure of the fridge complete, the technology that regulates the temperature can now be installed. Fridges work by transferring heat away from the inside of the cabinet. The food inside isn't cooled directly. The secret is in the use of a hydrocarbon refrigerant. These chemicals carry heat away from the interior through a series of pipes to the outside. As the heat is removed, the food is gradually chilled. Refrigerants boil at very low temperatures. Any residual heat in the food or the fridge cabinet itself is transferred to the liquid. It boils and the steam then passes rapidly through a network of pipes, taking the heat with it. As the steam passes through the pipes and out of the fridge, the heat is released. The hydrocarbon then returns to the reservoir where it cools before being pumped back into the system. 
The pump, or compressor, is the final part in the process. It keeps the cooling agent circulating around the cabinet. The system must be airtight to work, so everything's welded for the perfect seal. Finally, all the shelves, drawers and boxes that are used to store your shopping are added to complete the fridge. A protective layer of cellophane is wrapped around the finished unit and it's packed up, ready to be sold. So the next time you're raiding the fridge, give thanks for the innovative invention that keeps modern life so chilled.